Alright, shalom, shalom. It's the brother from the GMS North Carolina came back with another video. For we go any further, we we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Karpadash, the Bronze, the Apostles, and Elders, Great Moson. For teaching us the truth according to the Bible and rule well. And peace and blessings so for the life of the nation of Israel. You know, today's lesson is going to be basically um, going into how the Lord is coming to save the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And that's it. That's who the Lord came on the scene for. This is Isaiah 53. I'm going to start at verse 4. And um, if anyone knows this, talking about this passage right here is going into, it's prophesying the, um, the coming of our Lord, which he already came. In the in the time of the ancient days, in the time of the Romans, when he was um crucified and put on the cross, but he's coming a second time, very soon in your lifetime, to bring judgment, to bring death and destruction to the world, but to what to bring salvation to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Isaiah fifty three and one, cause I. So I'll give verse four, and that's the reason why he came on the. That's why he came and died. That he may um, offer repentance. He was that um, ultimate sacrifice, that sacrificial lamb, which um, brought us back to the heavenly Father. So Isaiah fifty three and four. Surely he hath borne our griefs, and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten of the Most High, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. What? He was bruised for our transgression and iniquities. So what? He was, um... Let me um, get two precepts. This is St. Matthew's 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. For he shall save his people from their sins. What? So our iniquities is our sin. This is First John 3 and 4. Whosoever commits sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So let me go back to Isaiah. So sin and transgression of the law. Whosoever commits sin transgresseth also the law. This is back in Isaiah 53, and it reads verse 5 again, but he was wounded for our transgression. Now, he came to save his people from their sin, what, from their transgression, from their breaking of the law. For he was wounded for our transgression, our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. Why? Because the children of Israel were the only people given the law. This is Leviticus chapter 26 verse 46 and it reads, These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord which the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Hashai made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. What? So the children of Israel were given the law. What? So that means they're the only people that can sin. This is back in Isaiah chapter 55, sorry, chapter 53. Verse 5 again, but he was wounded for our transgression, transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Verse 6, all, all we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one in his, to his own way. And the Lord have laid on him the iniquity of us all. Why? Because the whole nation of Israel have gone astray. But what? The Lord has come back to save. The Lord have come, have came back to gather 
his elect first and foremost, and what and through the elect all Israel shall be saved. It said he came back to save his people from their sins. This is Acts five and twenty nine. Then Acts five and twenty nine and it reads Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the most high rather than men. The God of our fathers, Yahweh, raised up Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son, whom ye slew and hung on a tree. Him have Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. He was bruised for our transgressions and through his chastisement, through him dying on the cross, we are healed. For to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Once again, him being the that um that um that sheep, that perfect sacrifice of the heavenly Father. This is um Saint Matthew's eighteen and eleven. For the Son of Man is. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. What well, we were lost? Why? Because we were um, we were wandering, we we wandered out of the way of understanding. So what well, we were lost, remaining in the congregation of the dead, we were lost in the philosophies and the ideologies and false religions of man, and we weren't keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. We weren't um. You know, believing and trusting the Lord and serving Him with all our heart and all our mind. It's what we went astray. Scriptures talk about, um, before I was afflicted, I went astray. But, um, this is, I don't want to go too off topic. Oh, sheep. Here it is. This is um, St. Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the law sheep of the house of Israel. What? So the Lord is sent to the law sheep of the house of Israel. And that's plain, straight to the point. You can't get around that. That's who the Lord he said he came for. He didn't come for anyone else. He came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel to save that which was lost. This is St. Matthew 10 and 5. These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. But go rather to the law sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. What? The kingdom of heaven, what represents the rulership of the nation of Israel, is at hand. He didn't say, Go teach all nations. He didn't say, Go teach. He didn't say go teach the white man, the so-called white man, or Esau, Edom, according to the Bible. He didn't say go teach any of these other nations. He said go and teach the law of sheep of the house of Israel. But pretty much, you know, that was pretty much it. You could get Jeremiah the twenty-third chapter, going in how you know our false pastors, our false leaders of the nation of Israel, is what led us astray. But pretty much that was the point. The Lord came to um, came on the scene and died, so that He may save that which was lost, the children of Israel, starting with the elect. But you know that Lord's one, you brothers were edified through the Spirit and out by Shema Shai. Before we go any further, we'll give all praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father and Son, begotten Son, Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kodash, the Apostles and Elders, the Great Most Holy, for teaching us the truth. 
according to the Bible and rule well and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. The next time we say, Shalom.